What's up guys, it's Drac, and I just got this package in from Ferrotech. Now Ferrotech is a nerfer that I was interested in when I first saw some of his carbon fiber 3D print stuff on Instagram actually. And he put together this kit and sent it over so that I could test it out and I figured as long as I was prototyping and testing a fun new Strife aesthetic kit, I would come in and make an entire video on it for you. So this must be the Ferrotech business card. Uh, very sleek. The, uh, the metallic on the black is super cool. So there's his Etsy, his email, and his Instagram. I'll put links in the description box to make that easier on you guys. But we have a few different odds and ends all printed up in... I'm not sure if this is his carbon fiber filament or not, but it looks great. The print is very smooth. This must be his logo because it matches this here. So Ferrotech, Pyramids, I get it. So this is an extended battery tray. This is a, uh, a muzzle kind of replacement for the front end of the Strife. And then this, there are a few different pieces here. This appears to be a sight. It'll kind of build in to the top rail there. This is a bottom piece clearly replacing the nerf rail just slides on. That is pretty cool. I love how consistent the print is all the way throughout. This is a muzzle brake so or a flash hider depending upon how you want to go about it. And it's uh, also very clean, multiple different apertures inside. And then maybe this is a top rail replacement. Seems to be. And it's uh, numerical for some reason. Starts at 16, goes to 23. Perhaps because this one, uh, it'll act almost as a ruler of sorts, and this one will uh, will complete the, the numbers. So this one starts at 7 and goes to 14, which almost just tells me where they're going to go. And then we can line up things using that. So this is a pin of some variety. I'm certain that this will hold a piece on. And then this is... Oh no! The last piece is some sort of end cap. Now, I'm not certain where this all goes, but... I will assemble everything onto a Strife so that you can see uh, next. Alright guys, so after playing with the Pharaoh kit for a few minutes, I realized the one issue that I have with it, and this is the reason that creators tend to send things to me before offering them to the public at large. I am always happy to provide completely honest and open feedback, and I have a workshop that's equipped in such a way that I can usually get small inconsistencies to work anyway. So, uh, in addition to that, I also have access to most regional distributions of different blasters, and while this fit on uh, an older Strife very easily. This is a newer OJ Strife, and maybe because of the tolerances there, I'm having issues with the front barrel. So because this front barrel attachment is so tight, as I was puzzling this thing together, and it looks great, by the way. Like, this is a, a top-notch kit. I think that it's really, really cool. Like, this is going to look insanely cool when it's all said and done. This basically fits in here as an end cap, and this is supposed to slide underneath. These are numbered in such a way that the top notch slides the rail on top, and then this one slides the rail on back, and then this will go underneath. Now, I put the front end attachment on first like a dummy, and it means that I actually can't slide this on. Now, all of my rails were sliding on pretty clean, although these two pieces were tight against one another, and I really don't want to hammer it home until it's time to get it off there. But you can see I was having a lot of issue here struggling with getting this thing off so that I could correct my mistake. Now a kit like this could be made in such a way that once it's on, it's on, but something like a front barrel attachment, particularly one like this that covers the orange tip necessary for certain regional laws, um, needs to be removable. And I'm not a particularly strong guy, but I'm also not puny either. And this just will not budge. So I'm actually going to come in and mechanically remove it. And I'm going to be very gentle tapping it off. But other than that, the execution of this kit is insanely clean. This pin is going to slide in and lock this home. These pieces come on and off like that. And it really just uh, gives you Picatinny all over the blaster. And it 
completely changes the front profile by sealing off all of these almost like teeth with black and after seeing what the kit is going to look like and just how cool it's going to be I've decided to create a custom barrel to use this muzzle brake uh, intentionally and I I have to give this a full internal overhaul and repaint there's just I mean we don't <laughs> we don't do anything halfway on this channel so my lovely assistant over here is actually helping me out by taping off the strife that I've painted and prepped so that we can make something very special for this kit and I didn't know that when I opened this box I didn't know that I would like this kit so much that I'd have to do a full primary class build for it but that's where we're at right now so instead of giving you um, a complete review of the kit with the build all in one video because I don't have that kind of time it has to be split into two pieces of content I am instead going to show you what the kit looks like fully installed on a stock strife and then we'll talk about that and the the merits of the kit at this point I've put it on and off enough times that I've more or less broken it in but it's still very very crucial to get everything into place before you put this front end on especially this piece Alrighty guys, so this is a look at the Ferro kit before I install it onto the fully fledged primary. So you will be seeing this kit again, but I just wanted to talk about kind of how this changes the overall look and feel of the Nerf Stripe. So first off, it gives you a ton of Picatinny and raises the optics. Second off, it gives you a lot underneath here to work with, and it's all numbered so that you know exactly where you are on your rail so that you could take accessories off and put them back on exactly where they go. Now the one thing that I haven't done is connect the barrel to this system and that's intentional because I don't want to permanently attach this I want to choose the right worker style barrel to do that with but overall I mean this is a stock strife obviously and then this is the ferrotech strife and it just looks way way more menacing like this huge front end filling in all of this dead space up here makes it look far more I think like not tactical but actually like firearm-esque like it it reminds me of something that would be in in that vein especially since it's like tactical black like that that helps a lot the battery tray is one of the nicest ones I've ever seen it's contoured nicely it reminds me a lot of the containment crew ones and I'm trying to see if I have a containment crew strife door over here that I can show you somewhere and and I guess I don't I must have used all of them nope here's one from the Draculina's one day strife build so whereas the containment crew one has some blocky lines and it is an older model to be fair this is contoured very nicely on the sides and I think that that is a very nice aesthetic all in and of itself but very much so looking forward to finishing the overall project that this is going to go into for you guys because I think you're really going to dig it it is going to be hot um I I hope you enjoyed this look at the the pharaoh kit it was a a fun video to put together very quickly huge thanks to pharaoh for sending it over obviously and i will be putting full links to all of his stuff where you can find him on social media and the insta tweets and whatnot in the description box below so be sure to check him out if you're interested in some of his awesome carbon fiber prints he's done some really cool stuff with that as well i'll uh, see you guys very very soon not only with the actual strife build that this is going on to but i've just got a ton of stuff to to grind through and get content out to you guys on. Lots and lots of fun stuff to go.